Hey VCEers! In this video, we're talking about the inquisitorial system of trial. First, a quick definition. The inquisitorial system is an alternative system in trial in which the court is actively involved in determining the facts of the case and the conduct of the trial. It's based on Roman law and it's used today in varying forms by many European countries. You need to remember the same five key points that you'll need when memorising the adversary system. One, the role of the judge. Two, the role of the parties. Three, the role of legal representation. Four, rules of evidence and procedure. And five, standard and burden of proof. This will help you to compare the two systems. It's rare that students get a question just on the inquisitorial system in SACs or exams. Instead, it's more likely that you'll be asked to compare the two systems and decide which one is more effective. Also, it will really enhance your work if you find relevant examples to bring up when discussing the inquisitorial system. Pay attention to the ones that I use in this video and try to incorporate them into your own work. Number one, role of the judge. Judges take an active role in the cases that come before them. In France, for example, the investigating judge supervises police, gathers evidence, and finds and questions subjects. The investigating judge compiles a dossier to present to the residing judge. The residing judge oversees the whole trial, defining legal issues and calling and questioning witnesses. Number two, the role of the parties. Of course, because the judge's role is so active, the role of the parties is greatly diminished compared to the adversary system. Parties do not have complete control over their cases. Number three, Role of legal representation. Again, legal representation has a diminished role because of the amount of work the judge does. However, the role of legal representation varies across different countries. In Germany, legal representation is compulsory. The prosecutor sits in the same level as the judges, and the defence counsel sits on a lower level with the accused. The prosecution and defence can give closing addresses to the court. Number four, rules of evidence and procedure. There's less of an emphasis on evidence and procedure than in the adversary system. For example, some types of evidence that are inadmissible here in Australia, like hearsay, may be admissible in systems that use the inquisitorial system. Because the inquisitorial system is focused on getting to the truth, it can look at all evidence that can help to discover that truth. 5. Standard and burden of proof. Generally, there is no strict burden of proof because of the increased role of the judge. But do keep in mind that inquisitorial systems vary across countries, and some make more use of the prosecutor than others. As far as the standard of proof goes, it varies across countries, but is generally pretty high. In Germany, for example, it is beyond reasonable doubt for both criminal and civil matters. Thanks for watching, and happy studying!